welcome back in our tutorial in this session we are going to show you how to add a secondary access in your report basically why we need to why do we need to add a secondary access in our report because uh, sometime if we are going to compare uh, our data like uh, sales or average sales the comparison between sales and total sales and uh, total average for a year for a month or for a week or for a person then we can see that there is a lot of difference between total sales and average sales so uh, if i'm talking about the data then you can see that uh, uh, you can see that uh, we have the data like this now in this data you can see that uh, we have the data sales data that is uh, uh, month uh, daily basis data where we need to capture total sales uh, for a year and uh, total average for that particular year like this now you can see here there is sales uh, total sales and average sales there is a more uh, difference so if we are going to show this data in our chart definitely it would look like very uh, 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 unformatted informations I, I mean I mean to say it will not contain a proper information to visualize to take a action so uh, so we are going to use uh, this data uh, to apply a additional secondary axis on our report so I am going to just copy this code from here and in in the report environment you can see that we have a already blank uh, report so i am going to add this uh, uh, data i am going to create a new data set like cs yes we are using already a embedded data source so and we are using text just paste and click on ok button now you can see we have the data set now what we are going to do here we are going to add a chart this is a simple pie chart column chart sorry now in a column chart what i'm going to do here yeah you can see we have the chart now uh, I am going to change the title of the chart here like yearly total sales versus total yearly every sales every sales okay and uh, bold uh, increase the size also and okay and it would be centralized now what what I am going to do here I am going to add a add a data set to the report to the chart so in this case I am going to add add a data set like this yeah that is data set now we have added data set in our report and uh, what I'm going to do here I'm going to add a total sales series average sales series and for the y axis category I'm going to add a year years now I'm going to preview the report Now you can see there. This is average total sales, and average sales in look like very small columns on the chart. So what we are going to do here, we are going to do some more uh, changes in our report.
oh, make this data is a very informative so we can use the secondary axis of this of the chart report now for this now you can see this is the y axis so this y axis i am going to do some more uh, things over here solid and uh, that is the color same here for this i am going to do here like this and it should be solid now uh, yeah it is solid so these are the things we did in our report okay so actually if we, i am going to show the chart uh, show labels data labels over here so labels over here for the data total sales i am going to change the font size over here and the font size for the average sales now you can see uh, i am for more uh, 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 pretty report i am going to change the numbers also as a currency without decimal okay same for the average sales number should be in currency without decimal places okay now i am going to preview of the report over here again now you can see there is a little bit uh, there is a more difference between uh, total sales and average sales so what we are going to do here we are going to use the, this axis so total sales so it is very easy to add use a additional uh, or another uh, axis for this what i'm going to do here in this series property i'm going to the series property for the average sales now in this property i am going to take the um, axis and chart area in axis of chart area there is a vertical axis so i am going to uh, uh, use a huge for total average sales on a secondary axis okay now you uh, i'm going to click on ok button so you can see uh, there is another axis has been created for average sales for this i'm going to do four more changes maroon and solid so uh, to make a difference between uh, this is also so i am going to add a total average sales in dollar okay same here i am going to do for this also so in this property i am going to change the title as a total sales in dollar so we have created another axis also then uh, for this what i am going to do here because we are showing the y uh, x axis for the years so definitely we are using as a years okay now uh, we are going to preview this report now you can see that uh, y axis is using for this uh, y axis uh, for the total sales and uh, opposite y axis is for the average sales now both information are easily visualized on the report okay so uh, it is a very easy task to use a another uh axis of the report so for the more um, for the more uh, uh, data information uh, we uh, we can do one thing also here like this
we are using primary and secondary vertical axis i mean to say uh, we are using y axis primary axis and y secondary axis where primary axis is using for the huge amount when we are going to show you show you the large amount on the chart in comparison and uh, if there are very low values like in this report we are showing total sales which is containing uh, more values rather than a average total sales so in this case what we are going to do here we are using primary and secondary vertical axis in the report the main interesting thing is that we are using a single x axis for the both uh, vertical axis so if you want to make some more changes and uh, give the more uh, interaction to the report what we can do here in the report design we just go to the series properties and in the fill color we can choose the color like this okay so it would uh, give a give a more clarity about the data because in this case we are not choosing the automatic color on the chart we are providing forcefully the color to the columns so same here what we are going to do here we are choosing this color as a okay now you can see that uh, we have two colors we are uh, for the blue color dark blue color we are using total sales and orange color is using for the average sales so you can see that uh, we have uh, both options in a single chart to visualize the high values columns as well as low values columns and it gives us a clear picture on the chart and a uh, business user can take the necessary action for this also and uh, same here if you want to do some more color like this this okay now we can change the background color also for the chart and it could be the bold now preview the report now you can see we have a very wonderful chart containing the data comparison between total sales and yearly average sales with the help of two uh, primary and secondary vertical axis which are using the same axis x axis i mean to say same horizontal horizontal axis so i think it give gives you a clear picture how we are going to so or you two different uh, vertical axis in a single report if we are going to compare uh, the data it could be useful in case if you are going to compare a salesperson uh, performance in a year or in a city so i think uh, it would uh, a better approach please subscribe my channel on youtube thank you for watching us for more videos